Ever wonder how it looks like inside of a processor? I will show you. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kobuman and in this video I'm going to show you what's inside of a microprocessor. So let's cut this bad boy open. Alright guys, so before we do this, we gotta make sure we have some safety, safety components, right? And that would be safety glasses, right? These are kind of stylish and pretty cool. I like them. And some safety gloves. Or some gloves, you know, whatever you can find in the garage, right? And then we add a Dremel. So we're gonna cut this bad boy in half, right? So guys, just to kind of throw this out there, this is kind of dangerous. You may cut yourself, hurt yourself pretty badly. I'm not sure if you could kill yourself, but that's a possibility too. So um, if you decide to do this on your own, uh, uh, that's certainly up to you, okay? All right guys, so I got all my safety equipment on. I got my Dremel powered up to the max, or 120 volts to be exact. Anyways, um, if you're wondering what kind of processor it is, this is an old, a rather large actually, uh, AMD uh, processor. I think, uh, let me see if I can see if you can see this. It's probably not legible, not even for me, but it's a little, a very little uh, small writing in there, but I'm, I'm I think this is Athlon X2, it's a really old processor, and then we're going to see what's inside of it, right? We're just going to cut this bad boy up, and uh, truth, truth be told, I've never done this before either, so uh, this will be a first for me, so let's go ahead and cut it. And again, just again, this is uh, dangerous, so uh, uh, don't do this at home. I'm doing it so you guys don't have to, but I certainly can't stop you if you decide to, but you know, I'm not responsible for anything, okay? So let's go ahead and, and just to kind of throw this out there, uh, uh, normally I would put this in a vise, you know, just hold it in a vise, but I'm feeling adventurous today, so I'm going to try to cut it by holding it in my hands. So if I get cut, it's kind of a, a bonus for you guys, I guess. It's, uh, I guess that's what, that's what you get for uh, handling a bleeding edge uh, technology, right? Alright, so let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh yeah, you should wear <coughs> You should wear some kind of uh, mouth protection too uh, I'll be back All right, guys, I'm back. I'm just gonna crack it open this time. Oh, oh man. Well, I guess there isn't too much to see here. It just looks like shiny metal, really. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I mean, you can see the layers. You can kind of see the layers of the the microprocessor circuitry in there, but it's kind of very tiny. Not much to it. These are just fins that fell off. Well, that was kind of disappointing. Nothing else, nothing to see in there. Well, hope you guys can see that well, but uh, not much to it, really. Now you know how it looks like on the inside. So do I. There's just some kind of weird layers of crap. And silicone. I guess that's why they call it silicone, right? It's definitely silicone. It's like rubbery inside. I 
I'm hoping you can see that. She kind of looks like a line running through. It's like a silicone. It smells like rubber. It's very silicone-like. Well, now we know how it is inside. It's kind of rubbery. Rubbery and silicone-like. It's kind of interesting. Huh. Well, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Or half of microprocessor. Well, I hope you guys liked that. I, uh, I certainly did. <coughs> I got a mouthful of <coughs> dust. Should have worn protection, I guess. Alright, guys. Well, see you next time. Bye bye.